We end tonight with the clearest pictures yet of Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system. What we've uncovered from the first authentic images of Neptune is nothing short of remarkable and, for some, genuinely alarming. For hundreds of years, Neptune has remained an enigma, situated at the farthest corners of our solar system, remote and puzzling. Named after the Roman deity of the sea, this massive ice planet was a mere theoretical concept until its confirmation in 1846, based entirely on mathematical forecasts. Yet, even after its discovery, its true essence remained veiled by its vast distance and the technological limits of our era, until now. The latest images of Neptune, taken by some of the most advanced space telescopes and probes humanity has ever designed, have unveiled astonishing and unsettling details about this frozen world. These new insights are pushing the boundaries of our understanding not only about the solar system, but also about the potential existence of alien life and even the stability of our own planet. What lies beneath Neptune's swirling, blue atmosphere? What forces are operating in this far-off corner of space? And most importantly, what do these revelations mean for the future of humanity? To fully appreciate the magnitude of these discoveries, we need to first place Neptune within the broader context of our solar system. In stark contrast to Earth, Neptune is classified as an ice giant. This classification indicates that its structure is primarily composed of volatile substances such as water, ammonia, and methane, all of which are frozen into distinct forms due to Neptune's incredible distance from the sun temperatures on this distant world can plummet to a mind-numbing 373 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the coldest places within the solar system. However, recent observations suggest that Neptune is far from lifeless. The first detailed images of Neptune, captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, have revealed activity on this icy planet that defies expectations. One of the most astonishing findings has been the discovery of massive storms, many larger than Earth itself, raging across Neptune's atmosphere with violent force. These storms are driven by winds that are the fastest in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour. Even more fascinating is the mystery of Neptune's dark spots, huge storm systems that appear as dark patches on the planet's surface. Until now, their origin and behavior were a mystery, but new data is helping scientists piece together the puzzle. The answers they are uncovering are both awe-inspiring and frightening. These dark spots seem to form deep within Neptune's atmosphere, where extreme temperatures and pressures may be capable of creating diamonds. Yes, diamonds falling through Neptune's atmosphere in what can only be described as one of the most alien phenomena ever observed. But the diamond rain, while remarkable, is just the beginning. The real concern lies in the unexplained energy emanating from Neptune's core. Observations indicate that Neptune is emitting more heat than it receives from the Sun, a phenomenon that has baffled scientists. This has led to various hypotheses, including internal processes possibly involving radioactive decay or other unknown mechanisms that might be generating heat from within the planet. The implications of this discovery are profound. If Neptune has an internal heat source powerful enough to overcome its freezing conditions, it raises significant questions about the possibility of subsurface oceans, and where there are oceans, there could be life. Could Neptune or its moons harbor alien organisms in hidden aquatic realms? Among Neptune's moons, Triton stands out as a promising candidate for extraterrestrial life. Triton is unique in that it orbits Neptune in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation, suggesting it was once an independent object captured by Neptune's gravity. This moon is coated in nitrogen ice, and evidence suggests that beneath its icy surface, there may be a subsurface ocean. 
Recent observations have even revealed plumes of water vapor erupting from Triton's surface, hinting at the possibility of hydrothermal activity, a critical factor for life as we understand it. But if these findings are awe-inspiring, they also bring with them some unsettling possibilities. The plumes erupting from Triton could potentially release materials into space that might one day reach Earth. While this may sound like something straight out of a science fiction story, scientists must seriously consider the possibility that alien microbes could hitch a ride on interplanetary debris and end up contaminating our planet. The answer remains uncertain, but the possibility is enough to cause concern. Another chilling revelation from Neptune's new images is related to its magnetic field. Unlike Earth's relatively stable magnetic field, Neptune's is chaotic and tilted at a strange angle relative to its rotational axis. This misalignment causes Neptune's magnetic field to wobble unpredictably, creating zones of intense radiation. This radiation poses a serious hazard to any spacecraft or human explorers venturing to Neptune. But perhaps the most unnerving aspect of Neptune's magnetic field is what it suggests about the planet's interior. Some scientists theorize that Neptune's chaotic magnetic field may be evidence of an unstable core, one that could be in the process of breaking apart. If this is true, it raises a terrifying question. Could Neptune one day experience a catastrophic event that sends shock waves throughout the solar system? The prospect of an ice giant destabilizing is a nightmare scenario that we cannot dismiss. As we dig deeper into the revelations from Neptune's first detailed images, it becomes clear that this distant world is far more dynamic and far more dangerous than we could have ever imagined. These discoveries challenge our understanding of planetary science and force us to reckon with the fragility of our own existence in the cosmos. One of the most profound lessons these new images offer is the sheer unpredictability of the universe. For centuries, humanity has looked to the stars with wonder and curiosity. But as our technological abilities grow, we are beginning to see the cosmos for what it truly is, a vast, chaotic, and often hostile environment. Neptune, with its violent storms, erratic magnetic field, and potential for harboring alien life, serves as a stark reminder that the universe is not a safe place. However, these discoveries also offer hope. By studying Neptune and its moons, we are expanding the boundaries of human knowledge and pushing the limits of what is possible. Each new revelation brings us one step closer to answering some of the most profound questions about our place in the universe. Are we alone? What forces shape planets and stars? And how can we ensure the survival of humanity in an ever-changing universe? Ultimately, the first real images of Neptune are more than just scientific data. They are a testament to humanity's relentless curiosity and determination to explore the unknown. They remind us that even when faced with terrifying discoveries, we must persist in our quest for knowledge. For it is only by understanding the universe that we can hope to find our place within it. The new images of Neptune have sparked a wealth of scientific inquiry, and the planet storms deserve particular scrutiny. These storms are not your typical weather systems, like those found on Earth. Neptune storms represent a level of atmospheric turmoil we've never encountered anywhere else in the solar system. The latest observations reveal vortexes so enormous that they could easily engulf the entire Earth. And unlike hurricanes or typhoons on our planet, which dissipate over time, Neptune storms exhibit an unusual persistence, lasting for far longer than expected. Take, for example, the Great Dark Spot, a massive storm first observed by Voyager 2 during its groundbreaking flyby of Neptune in 1989. At that time, the storm was estimated to span about 13,000 kilometers, nearly the size of Earth itself. 
Even more fascinating is that new observations from the James Webb Space Telescope suggest that Neptune storms might operate on cycles we don't fully understand. Some storms seem to disappear only to reappear later, slightly altered, as if Neptune is replaying patterns of intense atmospheric disturbance. So what drives these enormous storms? One might assume that Neptune's extreme distance from the Sun, nearly 4.5 billion kilometers, would result in minimal atmospheric activity. After all, it receives only a small fraction of the solar energy that reaches Earth. However, paradoxically, Neptune experiences the fastest winds in the entire solar system, reaching speeds of up to 2,000 kilometers per hour. These winds are so powerful that they are capable of stripping solid objects off Neptune's surface. Recent studies have suggested that these winds are fueled by heat escaping from Neptune's interior, a heat source deep within the planet, rather than sunlight that powers the planet's violent weather. This internal energy mechanism raises even more questions. If Neptune is generating such heat internally, why isn't it visible in infrared imaging like Jupiter or Saturn? Is there some unknown mechanism at work, distributing heat across the entire planet in a way we've never observed before? The discovery of diamond rain on Neptune offers another crucial piece of the puzzle. Could the energy generating these storms also be responsible for other exotic phenomena, such as the formation of diamonds in the planet's atmosphere? Now. Let's turn our attention to Triton, Neptune's largest moon, which is unlike any other moon in the solar system. One of the most intriguing aspects of Triton is its retrograde orbit, meaning it orbits Neptune in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation. This suggests that Triton was once a rogue body, possibly a Kuiper Belt object, that was captured by Neptune's gravitational pull billions of years ago. This capture process would likely have been violent, and may have even resulted in the destruction of any earlier moons Neptune might have had at the time. What makes Triton even more fascinating is its surface, which is covered in nitrogen ice that reflects a large amount of sunlight, giving the moon a bright and almost otherworldly appearance. But beneath this icy crust, scientists believe there is a vast subsurface ocean kept warm by tidal forces generated by Triton's interactions with Neptune's gravity. Could this hidden ocean support life? The presence of plumes of water vapor erupting from Triton's surface, similar to those observed on Jupiter's moon Europa, suggests that water and organic materials are being ejected into space. This raises an intriguing possibility. Could life exist in this remote, frozen corner of the solar system? The potential for life on Triton forces us to confront some profound questions. If life exists elsewhere in the solar system, what does that mean for humanity's uniqueness? And how would contact with alien microbes, or perhaps even more advanced life forms, reshape our understanding of biology, evolution, and even spirituality? Triton, despite its isolation, may hold answers to questions we've been asking for millennia. But not all of Neptune's revelations are confined to its moons or storm systems. The planet's magnetic field, though chaotic, also has far-reaching implications. Unlike Earth's relatively stable magnetic field, Neptune's field is tilted at a strange angle, and it appears to be shifting constantly. This misalignment creates a chaotic magnetosphere generating regions of intense radiation around the planet. For any future spacecraft or human explorers, these radiation zones could present serious dangers.